Good tidings, ladies and gentlemen of the Lodge, and welcome back. Today we are serving up another Kingdom Hearts theory, this one revolving around one of the series' greatest mysteries, Subject X. Recently, we did a podcast here on the channel all about Subject X, where we addressed all the current theories and candidates, as well as speculated on her future. So if that piques your interest, then be sure to check it out after this video. Anyway, to circle us back, my aim here is to further address something that came up when discussing the possibility that Scald is Subject X. There is one glaring problem with the theory that Scald is Subject X, and I believe I may have figured out an answer to close the gap on Subject X's identity. So let me start by pointing out the biggest issue with Scald being Subject X. This woman right here, Mama Xehanort. Now, as we can see, she may look a lot like Scald, but given the different eye color along with some other differences, we can see that she is indeed not Scald herself, but certainly bears a family-like resemblance to her. Many have gone on to speculate that this is a descendant of Scald, be it her daughter, granddaughter, great-granddaughter, so on and so forth. But therein lies the problem. If we recall the secret report that mentions that Subject X was found in Radiant Garden at the age of 15, well, if Scald was sent to Radiant Garden at the age of 15, there's no way that Xehanort's mom could be her descendant because she's 15 here in the modern era. As we all know, before Scald was sent off in the Ark, she didn't have any kids or anything like that, so there's nobody here to keep Scald's family line going. So even though I am a believer that Scald is Subject X, we cannot ignore that it's very difficult for Xehanort's mom to be related to her if she is 15 at the time she is found at Radiant Garden. So how does one fill the gap? How does a 15-year-old Scald in modern Radiant Garden have a descendant living their life in the past? Well, that's going to direct us to this secret report right here. The one where Subject X mentions that a man with an eye patch, presumably Lushu, came to remove her from the prison. And, as we know, Axel, Syx, Ansem, Xehanort, and Ansem the Wise had no idea where Subject X could be. Let's consider that Xehanort, someone who mastered time travel and body hopping, had no way of finding Subject X. That means Lushu must have hit her somewhere pretty good. Initially, my brain went to Quadratum and the world of fiction, but maybe where Lushu hid her isn't a matter of where, but a matter of when. If perhaps through an arc, power of waking, or some other means, if perhaps Lushu sent Subject X back in time, suddenly Xehanort's mom looking like Scald makes sense. Perhaps Lushu had to send Subject X back in time to a point before Xehanort existed. This way, Xehanort's time travel abilities would be barred from reaching her. So perhaps, Lushu sent Scald back in time to Scala, where she lived out her life and her descendant ended up becoming Xehanort's mother. To me, that seems to be the only viable explanation for how Scald can be Subject X. We need an explanation for how this woman could look like her without Scald living out her life in a prior time period. Her being sent to Radiant Garden at age 15 contradicts that unless Lushu successfully hid her in the past, paving the way for Xehanort's mother to be born, and as a result, Xehanort himself to be born. There is one other aspect to this that I think paints a full picture. Consider this scene at the end of Dark Road between the player and baby Xehanort. Notice how Xehanort makes a point of saying he wants to see his mom again. More specifically, that if he becomes strong enough, he would be able to see her again. Considering this, would this not add another layer to Xehanort's obsession with Subject X, if Subject X is Scald? Perhaps his fascination was layered with a subconscious desire to see his mother again. And if Xehanort's mom truly was a descendant of Scald, like we are theorizing here, then it would explain why he was so drawn to Subject X and so badly wanted to get to the bottom of it. Alternatively, to provide a different point of view while we're at it, let's say that Lushu did send her off to Unreality. Well, this could possibly explain how Xehanort was able to find out about the world of fiction. Again, given his fascination with Subject X. The mystery of Subject X is still ongoing, and nobody knows who she is for sure just yet. Me personally, however, I'll be putting my stock into Scald for now, 
even though the timetable may not initially add up with a 15 year old scold in the future and an older looking descendant of hers in the past, seeing as Lushu hit her in a place that Xehanort and all the others couldn't reach, to me only leaves two options. Unreality, or, as I theorized here, a past which Xehanort cannot reach. While initially I felt that Unreality was a better bet, but seeing as there is this anomaly of Xehanort's mother that needs answers, I feel Lushu sending Skuld to the past within an arc or other means is a more likely scenario and explanation. Again, in order for Skull to be Subject X, we need that question of Xehanort's mom's appearance answered. And Lushu having a way to send her in the past does just that. But I'm curious what all of you think. Who do you think Subject X is? Where do you think Lushu hit her? And do you find my theory and explanation here viable for the mystery of Subject X? Let me know. But until then, you all be good out there, be good to yourselves and each other, and I will see all of you beautiful sickos and normies next time. <laughs>